I was only 16 in a new coupe. Me and my niggas riding foreigns, this ain't nothing new. Fuck wrong with all these niggas talking sweet shit. God damn it. What's going on, Gam fam? Today I'm back and I'm happy to say that we got Keisha back. Who's Keisha? Who's Keisha? We got Keisha back. Yes, sir. We got my baby back out of the shop about two days ago. I didn't go and announce anything yet because I didn't want to be too excited and have something still wrong. So I made sure I drove around. I checked a couple things to make sure it was running perfect and smooth before I went ahead and announced to you guys that she was back. But she's back now. Still looking good. Good as new. Running really, really solid. You know, I already went and did a couple things behind camera. So today's video is all about Keisha. Today I'm giving you guys a full walk around. A full walk around. No, this video is not a parts list, a mods list or anything like that. It's just a quick walk around. I'm gonna give you guys a quick couple names of what I got on the car, what's done so far, so on. So without any more wait, let's get into it. First thing first, I have a 2013 Nissan Maxima. All right, 2013 Nissan Maxima. I love this car for multiple reasons. I love it because of the engine that it has, the VQ35DE, also found in the Nissan 370 and the Zs. A couple other cars, Infinities. It's a strong engine, it has potential. Only downside is it has the CVT transmission, which kind of holds it back. It comes stock factory with about 290 horsepower. A lot of people just say 300 because they don't think the 10 horsepower is a difference, but it is a big difference. So it's 290 stock. I don't know what mine is making because I do have an intake and a couple other performance mods. So I should probably be getting about 300, but because of the age of the car and stuff, it's probably not gonna get you know it's that so let's go ahead and start talking about the front end front end i still have the stock bumper nothing done to the bumper except that i changed the grill i took out that that nissan um grill that chrome put a black grill on there i added the nismo oh shit, that was a fucking b what the fuck? i added the nismo badge to the front why did i add the nismo badge to the front nissan keeps trying us nissan keeps trying us like they've made nismo z's right they've made a nismo Sentra. they're planning on making a nismo rogue they have a nismo juke where's the nismo maxima like that's all N nissan where's the nismo maxima i know they're gonna have to give it to us like they have to like they like yeah y'all got to nissan y'all got to but I went ahead and named it the Nismo Maxima because with the goals that I have, it will be a performance car someday before I die. It will be a performance car. And it's just right, because I'm going to be using Nismo everything on here. Like, like Nismo intercooler, if Nismo has headers, I'm using those. It's going to be a Nismo car. So don't, don't worry about the name. I have my reasons for it. But Nissan, what's going on? Where's the Nismo Maxima? Please, where is it? Next, we have the Akani headlights. I love these headlights. They really do bring out the definition in the car. Got little canards in the front. Trust me, they probably don't do anything, but they look good. Then I have the Stillen front lip on the side right here. Now, you can get these off of eBay as well. They're not gonna be Stillen, but they are pretty much the exact same thing, except on the bottom side, Stillen adds the clip the little clip holes so it goes directly into your splash guard but i don't have my splash guard so it doesn't even matter these probably gonna break a lot because it's very my car's really low if you guys can't tell it's really low so i tend to break them this one is actually on the verge of being broken you can see right here so i got i got some screws holding it up this one's rusty i need to like probably put some sharpie on it this is not the stillin um splitter it's actually just a universal rubber splitter um why did i go ahead and use the rubber is because it's so low to the ground if something hits it i want it i want it to be able to fold and kind of like take the hit and not you know fall off or anything like that um that's it for the front end the sticker the godspeed stickers for my coilovers i'm running godspeed coilovers that's my coilover which is really dirty don't look at that that's broken i gotta fix that right now i'm probably maxed out in height in the back if you want to see i'm pretty much tucked very very much tucked i can't can't put my finger in between 
pretty much. Damn! Much tired to fender sometimes. I didn't roll my fenders. I didn't have to roll my fenders, but I'm pretty much as low as I can go. I'm riding on 20 by eight and a half inch wheels from Rosso, Rosso wheels. I really love those wheels. When I got them, they were silver. I painted them black, now they're bronze. I'm gonna stick with this color for a while because it really makes the car pop out a little bit. I love it. The only thing I don't know about the wheel is the um, offset. Um, I have to measure it, but right now this is not of importance to me. Front fitment could be a little bit better on the passenger side because I have a, a big gap over here, like I could fit my whole hand. But compared to the other side, on the other side, oh, it's the same story. Never mind, I thought it was different. Then I have a, another universal side skirt. This measures about 77.8 inches. So if you guys are interested in getting some, it's universal side skirt, gloss black, 77.8 inches. Like I said, this is not a parts list. I'm just walking around my car, giving you guys a quick overview of everything. I will be making a parts list and dropping all the links. This is not the video. This is just the video to say, hey, I'm back here's my car and here's what's going on i have to get some rotors i'm tired of these stock rotors that rust over time um i gotta get some drilled and slotted rotors and probably a big brake kit akibono or you know i don't know i'll probably cheap out and just go to autozone if they have something because i think the 370z ones fit in the back i still have my stock factory tail lights another set of canards another set of universal rear winglets they're gloss black and i just went and put one screw on the bottom on this end one screw on the bottom on this end fit perfect low profile low profile avs rain guards or some people call them um wind deflectors i call them rain guards because you can crack the window a little bit when um, it's raining and you won't get wet for me they're rain guards we got some shark fins i only have four up top the rear window rear window spoiler got that from amazon it costs about 35 dollars i forgot the measurement but i like it it makes a little bit of a difference when you're standing in the back you kind of see that poke across when you're in the side you guys see that see that poke right there yeah i love it i also went ahead and added the same thing up here on my spoiler it gives my spoiler a little bit more of an aggressive edge i know it doesn't fit perfect like on each end it kind of lifts up just a little bit so that's one thing to think about but when you're far away like this you don't even recognize or see it it gives the spoiler a nice little aggressive edge i love that don't worry about this you know i was really young and i added a um little rc a rc spoiler i was probably about like this tall up here and i crazy glued it so i got this i have to you know try to figure out how to take this off if you guys know of a way i could take this off leave it down in the comments for me please so i could start cleaning this car up in the back end i want to give a shout out to my doll Jaciel, he gave me this little heart, simple. You know, it just hangs in the back. Right here is a piece that I made, painted it bronze. It came with a universal front lip. It was supposed to be for the front lip, but it wouldn't fit my front bumper because my front bumper was a little too wide. So I went ahead and I just cut the center piece of it and I threw it in the back on the bottom of my rear diffuser on the bottom of my rear diffuser uh stickers if you're in orlando or even if you're not in orlando area make sure you look up my boy swish stickers on instagram he will ship out your stickers he's made every sticker i got on this car youtube banner russell wheels godspeed coilovers still in front lip akani headlights spec performance which is my intake i'll show you guys in a little bit and my name nismo maxima for my car let's open the door real quick give you guys a quick look at inside inside what i got going on got the steering wheel from advanced auto parts the steering wheel cover from advanced auto parts these mats i love these mats it's a little bit dirty on right here i love these mats they are luxury car mats um when you go on amazon or ebay you just put a nissan maxima luxury car mat it'll pop up I went with the black and red stitching because the whole concept of my car right now is black and red. Love them. They fit perfect. 
I love how they fit. Great. I changed all the headrests with red leather. Um, really great material. Shout out to the person that did them. I don't think they're doing them any longer. It was a business. It went out of business when COVID hit. Um, I also have my headliner done with the starlights. I have to start the car. Not when I started, probably just put it on on. Yeah, I have the starlights in my car. At night, they look way better. I do record everything on my phone. If you guys can see, everything is made with my phone. So if you want to start YouTube, don't let a camera be your excuse because it was mine for a little bit, but not anymore. All right, now let's do our ghetto thing and pop the hood. <sighs> yep, if you followed me, you know this is exactly how I opened my hood because I broke my hood latch cable. My car is just too low. Here we are under the hood. What's going on under my hood? You guys probably see things that you're not, you don't typically see on the Nissan Maxima. I painted all my engine bay covers, bronze gold to match the wheels. My skews box cover, everything painted bronze gold. My battery terminal, shout out to Transmission World for fixing it. It was in terrible condition. Battery, I've had this battery from Walmart for about three years now. It's died, I've recharged it and it's still going strong. Shout out to Walmart for that. So what's going on over here? So first thing first, you're probably seeing this little baby filter. A lot of people keep saying it's a baby intake. It's not a baby intake, it's a baby filter. So I matched it. I kept the brands the same, spec, spec. I got it from, I wanna say either Advanced Auto Parts or AutoZone. What does it do? So before I had this, connected here yeah don't worry i know it's a battery there it's 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 just for me to clog this line um i have this connected to that wire which went back into my um intake what it was doing is a lot of the oil that's burning in the crankcase that um vapor was coming back up this line and that vapor was really thick and oily and it was dropping oil inside of my intake and running down and that was really, really like bad because you're not supposed to have oil or any type of liquids really going into your throttle body back into the intake manifold and so forth, so on. So I just did a quick delete. I opened this hose up. I put the filter on it to catch any type of like oil. So oil doesn't like fall all over. And you know, I'll probably switch that out once every month or two, depending on how long I drive. The battery's here temporarily. Don't go ahead and judge me. I'll probably take it out this afternoon or tomorrow. I just needed something to clog this line so I didn't have too much air going into my intake. Um, as far as the engine bay, that's the only thing that's really different about it. I love how it looks. I love how the whole car looks. I had to, I had to. But this is my 2013 Nissan Maxima, guys. One last thing I'm gonna show you is going to be my trunk. Probably there's nothing special about it. Nothing special at all. It's just, I have 212s back here, Rockford P1. Rockford P1's powered by a Pioneer amp, which is right back here. Powered by this Pioneer Champion Series GMD8601 amp. Pushing about, I think, 1500 watts. And that's about it. That's about it for my car, guys. This is my 2013 Nissan Maxima, 2013 Nismo Maxima. Call her Keisha. That's Keisha. That's my baby. But I'm going to just take you guys on a quick little drive. I'm gonna rev it once or twice, and I'm gonna head home. All right, here we go, start up. No check engine lights. It's saying that my battery's a little bit low. I am at 186,528 miles. And I currently have no gas. All right, we are in the cabin. Windows all the way up. Give you guys a quick rev. I'll put the window 
those down. Give you another quick rev. I'm not gonna spend my whole day revving. I have a muffler and resonator delete with a four inch exhaust tip. If you guys wanna listen to all the sound clips, I do have a video, just go on my page and go searching. One thing I did not mention was that I had a fully functional fire stick inside my car, playing off of my factory screen, YouTube, Netflix, Amazon Prime, anything your fire stick can do at home, you can do in my car. As long as I connect it to my hot, hot spot on my phone and I control it with the controller, either the app or the physical remote control. I have no gas, so I'm gonna try to make it to the gas station. A lot of people ask me about the drone in the car. The drone really is not bad. It just sounds like a sporty car. It's not eerie or and it does it does not it does not oh my god I can't talk. It doesn't you know hurt your ears or anything. I like driving and listening to the exhaust shifting, up sh upshifting, downshifting, all of that. I get popped sometimes, depending on how I shift. I'm just cruising. Shifting again. They probably sound better from my side. Yeah. I'm gonna try to get a quick pull. Hopefully, I don't run out of gas. This car is really a beautiful car to have. Like, I'm glad that I got this car instead of any other cars. I really was gonna get a uh, Infinity, a Q, anything. But with real wheel drive or all wheel drive, I was gonna be going through tires way, way, way too much because I was really young. So I was gonna be doing burnouts and, you know, throwing it around corners. Probably would have gotten it totaled already. So I'm happy I went with a Maxima. Front wheel drive, about the same amount of power. Only difference is, is transmission. All right, let's see if I can get around these cars real quick. Uh, I'll do a sports mode pull. Here we go. another video it means a lot you guys have been really really supportive of everything that I've done so far with the car with the channel with my friends and you guys keep asking for more so guess what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just keep posting more creating more content and entertaining you guys as much as I can I try to keep it a little bit different. It's not just boring. It's not just, you know, work car, work car, work car, work. Try to put a little bit of jokes here and there. Keep you guys entertained and keep you guys coming for more content. I don't know what's going on with my hat right now. If you see me wearing a hat in all my videos, it's cause I don't, I don't have a haircut, okay? My barber just, just got back in town. It was gone for about three months and I don't cheat on my barber. 
that's why I've been wearing a hat since for the past three months. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I really, really do appreciate all of you guys, Gam Fam. I, I, I know it sounds corny, but it's, it's it's catchy. It's getting there, Gam Fam. Um, thank you. If you're new, welcome to the Gam Fam. And if you're coming back, stick with me, Gam Fam. Feel me? But I'm about to go put some gas in this car. Go eat something. Probably start editing this video and start thinking about what I'm recording next. But you already know, it's your boy, this B Gamma, and on this channel, there's gonna be more to come, there's gonna be more to see, and it's gonna be for sure more to do. But for right now, I'm actually gonna see my barber, see how he doing. Yeah, let me go do that. After I put gas. So I'm out here. Me and my niggas riding foreigns, this ain't nothing new Fuck wrong with all these niggas talking sweet shit If you gon' spend the block, my nigga, you need three clips Every nigga around me on that ape shit Fuck nigga talking crazy, he get sprayed quick And there's gonna be more to come, more to see And you guys are gonna see me having a 